What it do, flight crew, FCC flight team, stand up! We got some, uh, I guess you can call it some educational-ish, man. It's something that was requested from Twitter, okay? Now, I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. It was kind of, like, unbelievable that they had a top 10 of this category. Uh, 10 most hated YouTube videos, man. You guys especially follow me from my other channel, man. I had, you know, especially a time where I received a lot of hate, bro. But, you know, somebody's always got to work. So that's what I always told myself throughout that situation, man. What could possibly be so bad that made this list, son? Because before we begin, this video isn't based on dislikes and is mainly based on how much the YouTube community as a whole dislikes the video. Let's begin. We've all watched at least one YouTube video, right? I mean, you're watching one right now, which means you must be a bit of a fan of YouTube. So it's safe to say we've all had our fair share of anger when we see Nicole Arbor uploading another controversial video. So today we are counting the top 10 most hated YouTube videos, in no particular order. Sam Pepper was formerly a prank oh, YouTuber man. who has recently cleaned up his act and moved to vlogs. But when Sam was a prank YouTuber, he had his fair share of controversial videos, and possibly the most controversial lies in his recent Killing Best Friend prank, where Sam pretends to kidnap two famous Viners and have one watch in horror as the other one is fake killed. And although this prank was fake, it's also a desperate attempt to get more views. I didn't even see that vid. I don't know if it's still up or not. I heard about it on Drama Alert though. Yeah, that shit sounded real as fuck, I ain't even gonna lie. Like the abuser, the hypocrite, and recently the child abuser. But all jokes aside, Nicole is probably one of the most hated YouTubers to date. And all this hate started when she uploaded her most popular video, Dear Fat People, where Nicole bullies and abuses fat people. Nicole saw Why? the amount of hate the video was receiving and cowardly hid the like to this Bro, video. I hate- Okay, nah, pause this shit right here, motherfucker, bro. This is gonna make me snap right here, bro. Any motherfucking YouTuber, I don't give a fuck if you fans of them, bro. If they have any type of video on their channel and they fucking, like, uh, disable to dislike and like, bro, you will never, ever catch me doing that shit and you will never fucking will, bro. I had so many motherfucking dislikes on certain amounts of videos, bitch. I just keep that shit there. Like, I hate- that This is something that out of- Everything on the two, bro, I always keep it real, so I just feel like I had to let this shit out, bro, until they keep it in, bro. Like, that is some pussy-ass shit, bro, especially that and disabling the fucking comment section, bro. Any YouTuber that has done that shit before, bro, they soft as fuck, bro. They know what the fuck they did for them to receive that amount of dislikes, bro. Let's be honest with themselves, bro. Even I... When I was receiving that shit, bro, like, I knew in the back of my mind, like, what the fuck I was kind of, you know what I'm saying, doing wrong on my part. But at the same time, you know, no YouTuber at the end of the day deserves dislikes, but I fucking hate when they do this shit, man. This is some fucked up fuck. Alright, bro, I'm sorry. We're back yeah. to the video. Nicole has been accused of abusing her ex-boyfriend. I might edit that last time. Matthew Santoro <laughs> recently as well. Dear fat people. Ah, some people are already really mad at this video. What are you gonna do, fat people? What are you gonna do? Wait, what are you gonna chase me? Really? You're gonna chase me? It's gonna be like fucking Frankenstein. Fat shaming is not a thing. Fat people made that up. Like, you knew he was wrong doing the fucking video. Like, I'm not hating on the fact that he's getting views. Like, get your money, but it's just like, why the fuck are you disabling? That's like... Who do I see in a fucking golf cart? Fat family! That's like barking during a fucking fight. I'm pretty sure you guys seen this vid before, so I'm gonna talk over it a little bit. But Rick fucking... Perry, a 2012 presidential candidate, made an advertisement in an attempt to gain more supporters for his campaign and possibly win the vote over Barack Obama. But what makes this video so hated is the homophobic comments Rick makes, which has caused the video to receive over 800,000 dislikes in total. Damn! What would happen if Rick Perry has been president to this day? See, he ain't soft. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm a Christian. But you don't need to be in the pew every Sunday to know that there's something wrong in this country when gays can serve openly in the military, but our kids can't openly celebrate Christmas or pray in school. As president, I'll end Obama's war on religion, and I'll fight against liberal attacks on our religious heritage. Faith made America strong. It can make her strong again. Yeah, like this, this nigga's crazy. I approve this message. Get the fuck out of here. Personally, I have I a can't big even fan take him of seriously. Drama Alert, and so are thousands of other people. But there's also a large community who hate Drama Alert and Keemstar, the host. And recently, the hate was amplified by... I don't lie, sometimes this intro get it annoying. When a 62-year-old Twitch streamer was falsely accused by Drama Alert of being a sex offender. But the evidence turned out to be false, and the accusation was made because of how similar the men looked. 
Drama Alert recently, however, released a video apologizing to the community, but they still received a lot of hate. What is up? No intro. I can't do the intro. It just you see stupid. He can stupid start off his intro. fucking thing doing that shit most of the time. And earlier today, someone on my news team provided me with a story that I thought was vetted, that I thought was correct, and it wasn't. It was wrong. And this isn't a little fuck up. This is a big fuck up. This is a serious big fuck up to the point where I just feel ashamed. And because of me, he was harassed for about two hours. Rebecca Black is now wow. a well-known name, but for all the wrong reasons, as four years ago, she uploaded one of the most hated songs of all time, titled Friday. I personally don't hate the song as much as other people do, but I can see why people hate it. When it Damn, comes down a to million it, dislikes? Because it is what the fuck? and annoying, to say the least. That's like, un that's like unnecessary. Hey, let me let me let me be honest. Let me pause this shit right here, man. You see, like, you know, I don't. I'm, this is not my type of music. I'm a type of uh, hip hop, you know, early 2000s gangster rap drill music type of dude, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is nowhere near in my fucking like field right here in music, man. But you know, you gotta really take outside and think outside the box one time. You know, this is just keeping it real again, bro. Like. You know, this girl's pretty, you know, she's doing her thing, man. And it's just really unnecessary, to be honest with y'all, man. She looks like she wouldn't even, like, you know, hurt anybody at all. It's just like the music is kind of knocking. I'm not even gonna lie. It's not my type. It's a little bit, it's a little bit lit. Don't get me wrong. Like, if, 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 if I can smoke enough something, but I can maybe join to this shit at, like, Duffy's or some shit waiting for a burger. But I'm not even on front. But, hey, hey, my, I might not be the only one. Let's go. There's nothing. I've heard so, so much far, worse. Antonio so is probably the dumbest YouTuber ever, and that's not to fire any shots. I'm just being honest. One of the reasons I say this is because of how stupid one of the videos uploaded by SoFlo <laughs> is to try and expose one of YouTuber's most loved creators, H3H3 H3 Productions. But all of SoFlo's facts and points were invalid and stupid, and clear to say he was nitpicking at the least. Even Ethan Klein, who accused me of stealing videos, which I licensed, and he himself stole videos to start off, and he still does, guys. Watch this. Not his video. Example number two. Again, not his video. The Fine Bros have recently created one of YouTube's biggest scandals when they attempted to copyright the word react, meaning all videos with the word react in the title would have a copyright claim against them. And of course the community hated the video which led to the Fine Bros leaving and losing over 100,000 subscribers in just one day. Hello everyone! We are very excited to bring you an announcement today. It's a really big announcement, Ben. Our company has grown so much over the years. I know so many down below right now is going to be coming down below. I hope the farmers will take this video As well as new people who join the Fine family every day. And it's because of all your support that we're now announcing this big thing that will bring us closer than ever before by creating a new way for us to create content together. Excited to announce React World, which is the first of its kind program that allows people and companies to license all our popular shows online so that anyone even you watching right now can create your own versions in a fully legal way and be part of a new and exciting global community. Tyro Magnus is a part oh, of the Tyro made the shit. reaction videos. And when one of the most loved and savage YouTubers, Grey Day Under A, made a video exposing bro. Tyro, he tried to defend himself by making his own. Let me videos. pause this shit again, bro. Like I, I, I caught, caught you know Tyrone's videos a couple times, man. You know these dudes are good dude, bro. You may have nothing but females, but that's goals as fuck, man. Y'all don't see that shit in the motherfucking future, bro. Like fuck the fucking females. Being his reactions, bro. But you know, like, grade A under A is a bully, bro. Like, I feel like I might come into counter with them. I don't know why, but it's just like, if that ever happens, bro, like, bro, I have, like, there's so much facts, bro. It's not even funny, bro. Like, the dude is just, he's a bully, bro. Like, the dude doesn't even fucking show his face, bro. Let me just get back Which to the like video, his bro. Other videos just, just absolutely terrible. You're gonna hear it. The video was unedited, and all of Tyrone's points may have been true if we could understand what he was responding to. What is happening, man? Sites. Uh, I literally just got in the door. It's like five o'clock. I've been out since. You know, you know. Like some people think we do it because we make so much money. No, it's not true. No. And there was an LOL on there because I was making light of the subject. I don't know if he's too ignorant to understand that, 
or um, he's just trying to be mean spirited. Um, you know, I, I don't know, but you know what? Um, someone told me that you're supposed to be a teacher or something. That makes me feel even worse. A teacher Bus is a Minecraft and vlog by YouTube channel, but in the last year he was accused of being a rapist by drama alert and many others in the YouTube community. This led to Basher receiving a huge amount of hate, and once it reached the peak, he couldn't take it anymore and made a rant breakdown video where Basher responds to all the hate he has received as he cries and breaks down. Unfortunately, this video only led to Basher receiving a lot more hate, but what? it's died down now. Hey guys, it's me. Uh, I'm done. Like, I'm so freaking tired of it. I'm like, going absolutely freaking mad Come my on, past man. and everything to get all out there <laughs> and Keemstar just keeps freaking it's just constant barrage like all my videos are like I've been up for so long and I'm so stressed right now and it's just <laughs> fucking said it was the victim I never said it was the victim I never fucking once said it was the victim and I'm sick and tired of being called a fucking rapist I just wanted to leave my fucking room and I was in for years and I finally did and you fucking won't leave me alone! Whoa! What a fucking way to damn end this shit off, bruh. This right here was so fucking flaming, if I don't even know where to start, son. Like, a lot of shit made me so mad. You guys already could tell from the video. Did you think any of these videos deserve to make the Wish list? Wish a nigga would try to put me on the blog. Wish a nigga would try to smoke me like some fog. And I came up in this bitch with some polo on my jaws.